Hello, welcome back. So let us uh, move to the module 3. So we have seen a couple of concepts in module 1 and module uh, 2 with respect to the learning of uh, related to the Databricks. So let us jump to the module 3 which uh, we will talk about an ETL with uh, Spark SQL. That means uh, how do we pull the data from the external source and then transform and then load back to the like a source different uh, storage the sources right so that is what the etl means uh, and uh, we will use a kind of a spark query kind of a language uh, to do this in this uh, module and uh, as part of that module uh, first uh, video we will see how to interact with files like there might be a multiple file formats like uh, there might be a json file format a csv text format or binary format right so how do we kind of a closely interact with uh, these files uh, using a uh, spark sql so if you enable uh, uh, the interaction so we can query the data which is there in the files so which will be a more convenient way to query that uh, file itself so that is uh, uh, i mean uh, before actually jumping uh, into the video if you are new to this channel uh, i would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notification so let's get started so in this demo we will cover uh, the how do we query files uh, using a spark sql and also how do we query uh, when we say files uh, so there might be json csv binary or text file kind of a format so we will see these topics and also we will see how to kind of query the file and uh, how to kind of a uh, query the folder also we can see okay so before without any delay let's get started with the demo so as you can see uh, we have already used the i mean created the mount points like uh, if you don't know how to create a mount points for the blob storage or data lake storage uh, we would recommend you to please uh, check the videos in the same playlist the previous videos in the same playlist uh, to kind of uh, understand how the mounting works okay so since we have already mounted our blob storage here so we are using a blob storage and you can see there is a like a inside demo there is something called as external table so external table uh, so if you go go and see within the external table what exactly we have right yeah we have a different kind of json that is created apple banana orange pomegranate uh, so these are the different JSONs that we have created and also when we kind of switch back to the blob storage you can see all these uh, in the blob storage physically you can see them as well and you can just uh, do a fsls uh, on the mount point and also you can see all the files so yeah we have removed this png so let us kind of query again yeah so now that we can see only the json files right and uh, first uh, let us understand uh, how to file a single i mean how to query a single file so here uh, you can see if you are familiar with the sql kind of a programming language or a scripting language we always use a table here select star from a table right but here uh, we are using a select star from a file okay so let us see how to query a file directly and uh, so you can imagine right up uh, so it's it's a most powerful thing that we can do here so i mean it is enabling us to directly query the file itself so there is no need of a bringing a file to the uh, read a file right into a table and then do some operations right we are directly querying the file itself so which is a more uh, convenient and more powerful way of doing it so to basically to query a single file uh, or a file what we have to do is uh, we need to understand the format of the file so as the format is json so we have to given we have to specify this keyword the so json is a keyword here with that keyword which is a file format and then give dot and uh, so inside this uh, quotes uh, single quotes uh, we will be able to give the complete path so this is a complete path right so we will give this complete path and uh, if you query this let us see how exactly it is displaying see it is displaying this, this. but uh, if you go and see exactly the how does the file looks i mean if you are uh, you might be always uh, already familiar with the uh, file how the json file looks uh, but if you see the json file is like this right so it is having a key value pair but uh, it is successfully able to parse this json and uh, like it has uh, bring the color fruit and uh, size which is the keys in the column and values are coming as a rows 
so also like what if i want to read all these json files at once that means uh, the all these json files in, are in this folder right so if i read the folder itself uh, it will definitely read all the json files and do the same thing for all the json files right so it, it means uh, it will consider all these file as one file and uh, it will parse the json but uh, i mean uh, that, that uh, we are assuming it will be having a similar uh, all the files are having a similar schema if uh, fruit size and color is uh, for apple these are the schema for apple but for banana also if you go and see it will be same uh, for i mean uh, same schema the key value should the key should be same right and if uh, assuming that is the right thing right so we can just remove this and now we can directly query the folder itself in json format and now you can see the power of it like you are able to get all the it is able to read all the four files at one shot like that you can imagine uh, if you are keeping thousands of jsons here right all the jsons will be read at one shot using this uh, but the folder i mean you are reading the folder itself here. so which is for the powerful way of doing it right and uh, so next one more convenient option is like uh, you can even write this right so you can uh, just uh, write into some temporary table okay so that uh, why we are writing into temporary table here so once we write into temporary table we can perform some operations on top of this right like select star from uh, fruits okay we can do like order by color okay so you can perform many kind of a sql kind of operations here uh, once you kind of uh, get into a temporary view so that that also you can do it and uh, similarly the question might arise uh, why i mean is it only for json or can we kind of a uh, query the other file formats as well yes definitely we can uh, query the other file for file formats as well so let us take an example if you want to read a text file so let me upload a text file here now that uh, i have uh, uploaded a text file so text file is just a random text right it is it will not be having any format okay so if you see it is just a like a unstructured data right so you can see like randomly i have uh, entered some values in different lines here so what if if we kind of a query this uh, text file right so definitely there is only one file so you can uh, query that uh, folder itself or you can give the file.txt so which is kind of a very similar because there anyway there is a only one file right it doesn't matter whether you're reading a folder or you're reading a file itself but you can see the column name is important to understand here it, it always comes as a value and uh, all the rows right all the lines will come as a separate row and uh, this txt what we are talking right it will be applicable for like uh, even if you are reading a csv file okay or like say tsv file file format uh, or txt file format so whatever file format you do so it will be like you will be using uh, txt only here but uh, so you can read uh, txt files using like this kind of format so and it will always come as a value whether it is a txt csv or tsv or txt format whatever the file format but uh, there is something called as a binary file format which is like uh, important to understand that uh, here we will give binary file okay let me upload uh, update uh, upload a binary file binary file means it can be uh, any image any Im video or something like that right uh, as you can see i have just up uploaded a png file which is an image file uh, into the blob storage and uh, let us try to kind of uh, query that png file and you can see this is the important uh, uh, file format uh, i mean it's important to mention the file format here like binary file okay. and if you kind of query this uh, here uh, you don't see the actual data but you see the metadata about the data because you cannot uh, like pass through the json right i mean anyway it will show in the content uh, in the content if you see it will show the truncated uh, content value so which is a binary format it will not anyway it is not readable but what is important to understand here is uh, when you are reading a binary file it gives the metadata like uh, 
like path, modify time and the length. And also I am uh, reading a webm file which is a video file. So even for a video file, uh, it, it uh, I mean it is a binary format. Whether it's an image, or video, audio, and everything is a binary file, considered as a binary file. So you can see, even for that, it is giving all the stats. This is about reading a binary file. So hope, uh, I mean, you are able to understand, uh, especially for the CSV, JSON, text file formats, right? So this is more powerful way of uh, doing it, like reading a table, writing it to a temporary view or table, right? And then you can query that particular uh, file. So you are querying the file itself here. Uh, so which is a more convenient and powerful way of doing it hope it was useful thanks for watching